Hello, today we're going to talk about solar. I'm Harold and I'm certified in solar. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the solar electric, solar hot water, and solar for pools. So back in the day when solar was getting to be a little popular and Florida had some subsidies for homeowners to buy solar, we were installing a lot of solar systems for electrical and hot water. But uh, the subsidies went away and the power companies were buying so many solar panels like this here and building solar farms that solar panels kind of got unavailable for individual companies to buy and build the solar panels for individuals. And so the price went up because availability and because the subsidies went away. So now I'm going to tell you a couple things about how you can get this. Uh, if you want solar panels and you want solar hot water and you want a solar pool heater, this is the best way to get it is uh, if you try to buy it and put it on your existing house, it's just going to be astronomical. It can be anywhere from 20000 to 100000 maybe even more for just the electrical if you want to put it on your house. But the best way to get it nowadays that makes most sense is when you're looking to buy a house, Make sure you buy a house or look for a house or negotiate a house in a subdivision or out in a rural area that the builder is using solar. Make sure they put enough solar panels in to supply your electricity, a solar hot water panel in, and a solar pool panel in if you've got a swimming pool. Now, like I said, if you're gonna if you're gonna uh, buy it and put it on your existing house and you've got an extra hundred thousand, it's gonna take you a long time to make that money back. But if the builder is buying it and installing it in the house and it's in the mortgage of the house and it's like a thirty-year mortgage with the house, it would bring that price down significantly, and plus the interest rate would be a lot less if it's included in your house when you buy it to start with. So another thing about how to lower your electric bill is most people don't know that when you, your electric bill, if when it comes in, check your electric bill, you'll see that there's a, a line on there that says peak hours. Peak hours are normally from like 5 o'clock in the evening till 9, 9 o'clock, which that means they have the right and the government and Congress has told the power company that they can charge more for electricity for those hours than regular hours. So, and it also happens in the morning from about 6 o'clock to around 9 o'clock. So, if you want to lower your electric bill, you can try setting your air conditioner to stop coming on at 5 o'clock and not come back on till 9 o'clock and in the morning have it set where it turns off at 6 o'clock a.m. or if it's already cool from the night and it's not on that it don't come on till after 9 o'clock. Now you'd want to do the same thing with your hot water heater. If you have a hot water heater and no one's really taking showers or something during the day put a switch on it or a timer on it and turn the hot water heater off and have it come on like at 12 noon till 5 o'clock and then have it shut off at 5 o'clock and that way you're not heating water at peak hours and if you have a hot water heater, a tank like a 30 gallon or a 45 gallon tank, you've got 45 gallons of water to use before you even need to turn it back on and if you put an insulator on your hot water heater you're going to even contain more of that heat and save more electricity. So this is Harold and I was just going to uh, mention to you a little bit about the solar because I see it's coming back in the picture where Elon Musk is trying to sell uh, solar panels, Tesla solar panels, Tesla roof panels, things like that. And if you're thinking about buying it to uh, put on your house, it's going to be very expensive. But if you're buying a new house, these are the things that you need to ask and make sure they're included in the new house that you're going to buy. So this is Harold with WorldTVOnDemand.com. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the video. And I hope this was helpful to you, and you guys have a fantastic day.